So I ain't looking over fences trying to find a better view. My search for all that ended when I first laid eyes on you. And the grass is always greener cause the sun shines when you smile. And when I'm holding you, the world makes sense on my side of the fence. Hello YouTube viewers, so today, London, guess what we're going to do? Draw. We're going to draw? A house. A fence. A fence. Okay, so let's try again. Say, hello, hello YouTube viewers. Say hello YouTube viewers. Hello, hello YouTube viewers. Hello. So today, London, we've decided to design a fence. What do you think? So London, what should the fence look like? Yeah. And then another one kind of parted in the middle. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Fences are nearly always continuous rectangles or a series of rectangles put together. Did you know that? No. Okay, so that's great. So let's let's take this here. Let's take your concept of the rectangles here. And then let's just start drawing the fence. So draw two lines going down the paper like this close together two lines keep it straight there you go all the way down now draw another line starting here going all the way down equal to the other line right what do you think of that okay. now draw a line going across here that's going to represent the ground okay okay so draw a line coming across here like that. Yes? Mm -hmm. No, good. Start from here, then go along here. And then put some, put some blade of grass here. Draw some grass. That's it, that's good. So some grass, you know, some grass like this, like that. Okay? So you know what we're gonna do on the side? We're gonna do concrete boards, not wood. And why is that? Because concrete doesn't rot. Because concrete doesn't rot. So here what we're going to do, and you draw it on the other side, is here we're going to do a concrete board right here, like this. And it's going to be like this. Can you draw a rectangle like that? Like Daddy just did on the other side to match? I can't believe he's telling me all this. It's all so basic. I know how to do a fence. I don't need telling what to do. Okay, so this is one concrete board and we're going to label that. So that concrete board there is going to be called a 1 inch by 11 inch hardy, we use hardy boards, concrete boards, hardy concrete board, right? And then what we're going to do is this, the two lines that you draw, this is going to be a four by four. Is it going to be wood or concrete? Is it going to be wood? Is it, is it going to be wood? So here we're going to draw four by four wood posts, right? And they're going to be ground contact posts, which means that when they touch the ground, they won't get rotten. So the four by four posts are going to be the structure of the fence, aren't they, London? Yeah. Okay, so four by four ground. contact posts oh okay. daddy now what we're going to do is we're going to add more concrete boards aren't we on the fence so let's draw it where these are one inch apart make the boards where they're one inch apart so here we have another one inch by 11 inch board right here can you draw one in on the other side so london what's the space between the boards we're going to be doing one inch one inch? I think one inch is good. Let's do one inch. So the space between the boards is going to be one inch. Now let's draw another board. Just like this. Another concrete board. Oh daddy, I know it's concrete boards. Very good. Okay, 
So that's one, two, three. We're gonna have one more concrete board for a total of four boards. So here, one inch in between, a concrete board here, like that. Can you draw one there? Make sure you've got the little space between them. <laughs> These are all thoughts in my head. There we go. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, Daddy, you sound like Charlie Brown's teachers. It is missing a cap, isn't it? Over there. So let's draw a cap. Let's draw a cap that covers this right here. Like this. Okay, here's a cap. And then the cap we're going to use here, we're going to say this is going to be a 2 by 8 KDAT cap. Okay, and the reason why we use the KDAT instead of a regular pressure treated cap is because it has nice square edges and it's also kiln dried after treated, which means it's a lot better than the pressure treated, isn't it, London? Yeah. So. Oh, this is just like being in school. Got a cap on it. What do we want this to do at night? Glow. We want it to glow? You mean you want the fence to light up? Yeah. So how are we gonna put a light in here? So let's put a LED strip light right here, okay? So let's label that here and put LED strip. I love my little ponies, they're so special and sparkly. Light, okay? Now we've got one problem with this drawing. You know what that is? The post extends beyond the cap. Well, what we're and they got little horns on top of their head. And they're all different colors. Okay. So I love my little side. ponies. And the whole distance of this fence from here to the ground, right here to here, right, is going to be four foot zero inches. Yeah. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that the fence is four foot zero from the ground to the top of the fence. Why does it have to be four foot zero, Wooden? Because it meets code. Now, always check with your local code authorities to be sure that you are within code for where the fence goes. And in this jurisdiction, it's four foot zero. So this is our fence design. What do you think of our fence design? Good. Now this post, when it goes into the ground, what needs to happen? Mm. Look, we've got a baby bee outside, look. Hey, Daddy. Hey London, what are you doing? What are you drawing? Are you having a good time with Daddy drawing fences? I wish I could join, maybe when I get older. So London, when this post goes into the ground, we need to put this post in something so it doesn't wobble. What should we put the post in? Concrete. So we're gonna do a blob of concrete around this post right here, like this. Okay, and this is gonna stop the post from wobbling, okay? And that's under the ground. So hey London, I think we're finished with the design of our fence. What do you think? Awesome! Is it thumbs up? Thumbs up? So here we are, about to start a new fence for our office. And I wanted to take a video of this and do a little show on it because it's going to be an unusual fence. This fence is going to be able to light up at night. Hi -ho! Hi -ho! And here you can see London using a post digger. 
to dig the holes so you can easily insert the posts. Oh no! What have you done? Oh dear. You broke a pipe. So pro tip for you, always look for water lines before you dig posts for your fence, okay? So here we are, looking at the fence progress so far. As you can see, we've got the posts in the ground and uh, the posts are set into the ground about, oh, I would say about one foot six and set in concrete and they're eight foot apart. And they're eight foot apart because of the boards that will be going on the posts, which are eight foot long. So here come the materials for the fence. This is where I want the materials delivered on this side of the lot. Stack the materials up here. All ready to be put on the posts. Here are some friendly contractors helping out with the fence. Be sure to use strings to line up the fences so that all the posts are in line and they're all straight. Say hi guys. There's a trick of the trade for you. There they are lining the string up to make sure everything's level. Using the triangle. There they are again, marking off the posts for the height. As you can see, we've got one side of the fence done and painted. Be sure to do this because if you don't, it's hard to get a bush in between two sides. Be sure to paint the inside of the fence when you do this so the light can reflect off it to give it a better lighting effect at night. Looking good so far. Hello there, how's the painting coming? So here we are, this is the latest so far. I wanted to show you guys it. And uh, what we're doing, this fence is a little bit more than a fence. It's actually like a little structure that we've got that's about four foot tall because it's actually built on both sides. And each column is gonna be set in concrete, which you can see here. And then in each bay, we're gonna have a light but what this fence is made out of, it's made out of four by four posts, but the exterior is made out of one inch thick by 11 inch wide concrete boards. So we're using concrete boards so that then the wood fence doesn't uh, deteriorate or it doesn't get rotten or anything like that. So it's good for life. So I recommend using concrete boards for your fences whenever you do them. Let's take a look. So if you look here, you can see we got the, you see right here, we got the four by four posts. And then right here is a one inch by 11 inch wide concrete boards. And then these boards are also going to be on this side, therefore creating a gap in the middle of the fence where we're going to put the LED lights. So at night, each column will light up. And we're going to check out that later. So here we are marking off the height of the fence. And this particular area, it's a four foot height code. So always check with your planning department to see how high you can build your fences. And I just want to show you something. If you look down here, you can see the fence has actually got a cavity in the fence. And this cavity is for an LED light. So through here, you're gonna see an LED light soon. And that's gonna light the fence up at night and it's painted white so it reflect better too. So I think that would be really neat. So you've got the four by four posts and then this is the concrete siding we talked about earlier. And then we got about a three and a half inch cavity for the lighting.
So up next level fence, we're going to install some lights in the fence. And this is how you do it. First, safety glasses. There we go, safety glasses on. If you take a look here, these poles, you can see that we've routed out the center of each column so that then we can put the lights in. And we've done this with a drill bit here. You can see the routed drill bit. And what we've done is we've drilled certain holes in it here and then gone down the side, just like in the middle, just like here, to create this little trough. And then inside this trough, and then inside this trough, what we've got is we've got these LED lights here. These LED lights that I bought from Amazon.com and the rope lights, so they're waterproof. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the lights like this. This is the lights here, so you've got to make sure you put them face down into the cavity of the fence. And then you put them right here like this. You see how that lays? And then this will lie inside the cavity of the fence. The lights will lay within the trough that we made using the router. I want to ride my Well, hello there, Mr. Frank. How are you doing? Good to see you today. Hey, come over here, Frankie. Don't forget to put your stand down before you get off your bike. Otherwise, it'll fall over. We don't want that bike falling over. Looks like London wants to take a ride on the motorbike. London, are you getting on the motorbike? You get on there. What's the hot stuff? Yeah. You're getting on it? On it on? Yeah. Hey, Frankie's getting the helmet ready for you, London. I don't think Frank even knows how to operate his own helmet. I don't know how to go. How do I turn this thing on? How do you what? I do turn this thing on. You, you twist that thing. What thing? That thing. What thing? what thing? I don't know. I guess you press the button. That's the gas tank. Oh, Frankie's decided to leave London on the bike. He decided to take London's bike instead. Look at Frankie go. I think he's on the wrong bike. I think he's on the bike. It seems to fit in just well. It's perfect. What to do, what to do. Uh, well, I don't know what they are doing over there, but I've got things to do, like a, a practicing balancing beam. Yes, that's it. These planks will do. Let me walk along these planks. Let me see if I can walk in a straight line. Here we go. Whoa. Here. Keep straight. Keep steady. Don't fall off. Oh. Oh, oh. Whoops. Whoops. Oh, get back on. Oh, keep straight. Oh, I think I've been drifting too much. Oh, straight, straight. Keep on, keep on, keep on. Centered, fits within the posts. Connections are good. Clips are on tight. Everything's A-OK. -okay. We are, and we're installing the LED lights, as you can see. And uh, we've just about finished all the LED lights. And I just want to show you how it's coming along. And as you can see, what we have is we've routed the four by four columns to fit the LED light strip here and also painted the inside of the fence so it reflects and when the light shines down, it reflects off the walls and then shows through these cracks here, these one inch spaces here. So at night, you're gonna see the light emanating from these openings here. I think that'd be pretty cool. We'll see later. One thing I wanted to point out is that be sure to use waterproof LED lights, which are encased in this kind of plastic enclosure. And as you can see, the joints between two strings, I've got this waterproof connection. This is very important. Hello, the fence is done. What do you think, London? Terrific. It's awesome, isn't it? Yeah. What do you think, baby? Yes, you like it? Oh, yes. 
So here's our new fence. It's all finished and I hope you like it. So I ain't looking over fences Trying to find a better view My search for all that ended When I first laid eyes on you And the grass is always greener Cause the sun shines when you smile And when I'm holding you The world makes sense On my side of the fence Sad.